So this is what my EKWB Solid Scarlet Red Premix coolant first looked like. After about two months, the coolant lost its color and it just became almost see-through. EKWB did send me a replacement, but even that replacement changed colors after about two months also. So I got in touch with EK Jake from Reddit and he recommended I flush my radiator with Mayhem's Blitz. First things first, I had to flush out the coolant. The coolant did leave a white residue all over the acrylic tubes and glass reservoir. The next step was to take out the radiator and the four fans. Uh, I was running this in a push-pull configuration. So when I took out the fans, the top portion of the radiator didn't have too much dust, but the back portion or under was just littered with dust and hair and miscellaneous debris. You can remove the dust with tape or a vacuum cleaner. You can also get harder to reach places with a spare paintbrush. So I measured how much my radiator could approximately hold and it came out to be 250 milliliters. Since shipping costs almost as much as the whole product, I didn't want to make more than required. So I did a little cross multiplication and came up with approximately 13.16 milliliters of acid to 250 milliliters of distilled water. Here it is just filling up to 250 milliliters of distilled water and me measuring out acid with protective gear on. Just make sure to have a spare towel underneath the radiator when you do pour the diluted acid. It could mess up uh, kitchen countertops or whatever you have underneath it. So all I did was seal it up. Mayhems did recommend to wait six to 12 hours. And in my case, I waited about 10 hours before I poured it all out. So the diluted acid did go in clear. And after about 10 hours, it turned out to be white-ish. To clean the tubes, I just doused about half a con ball with distilled water and blew it through the tubes like a spitball. I did that on both ends until everything was clear. Alternatively, you can just use a slightly small silicone insert to push the con ball out, but my method worked just as well. All I did for cleaning the glass reservoir was take a chopstick, uh, some duct tape, and about half a con ball again and just replace it every now and then. I found that using a small dab of Vaseline and rubbing it across scratched acrylic tubes with a Q-tip reduces the appearance of scratches significantly. So I just used the remaining coolant I had from the Premix bottle. And I'm glad that matches the rubber bumpers that came with this case, but I'll still have to wait to see if it changes over time. Mm -hmm. 